Uh, sometimes people want to know if I've uh, I really perfected my surgical technique, and I, I think the answer is uh, yes, as, as much as I, I can. I've been doing this for, for an awful long time, and I look at, you know, what am I getting right and what am I not getting right? I try to change or improve, I just, I suppose, like most uh, good doctors would. And I'd say today, after that length of time, I feel uh, very, very good with the overall results. Um, it's more complicated in the surgery than just to, to, to put a cage in or, or, or put a screw in. That alone isn't going to get you very far. It's how much, how little, how you do it. And that's the sort of subtle things that you learn over time and experience. And you learn by failure, too. Do you put in one cage, two cages? Do you put them close together? Do you put them farther apart? Do you put them more in the front, more in the back? What angle? Most patients, when they have a degenerative condition, may lose some of their curve. It's called lordosis. The cages that we helped develop and work on in the 90s, in fact, we started making them bigger in the front than the back for the simple reason we recognized, even in those days, putting your normal curve in correctly will give you a better result fairly immediately and long term. There's been a discussion about patients who have back surgery wearing out above their surgery. What was norm a normal spot, now it's become a bad spot. I have really reduced that problem, uh, I think, in, in a fairly significant way to where it's really, it's not much of an issue anymore.